Rain continues to lash the Sunshine State, with the inland town of Chinchilla bracing for the worst flooding in half a century. At least a dozen homes and the local hospital have been evacuated, and residents are working around the clock to protect property. The big wet is also hitting parts of New South Wales, in particular the central west and the far north. And while the rain is forecast to ease in Queensland by the new year, flooding is expected to continue into next week. Annie Guest reports. Linton Brimblecombe has been growing wheat and vegetables for 20 years in the Lockyer Valley west of Brisbane. He's seen more than his fair share of ups and downs in that time, but today he can't believe his bad luck. After enduring years of dry seasons, one of Queensland's biggest ever deluges is destroying his crops. We've just had 10 years of drought and now we're going into this extreme wet period. We, we just can't get the mix right for some reason. Now the fourth generation farmer and his family will be forced to again weigh up their future. We'll have to talk to our bank and, and, and make them aware of our current situation as will most farmers in, in the same plight as myself. I think there will come a point where the, the individual farmer will, will find it hard to, to get through this situation. Linton Brimblecombe is just one of many thousands of Queenslanders affected by the massive rain and floods sweeping the state. Elsewhere, towns have been cut off, homes flooded, cars stuck in flood water and communities in some low-lying areas evacuated. This morning, aged care residents in the small town of Theodore in central Queensland were moved to higher ground. The heaviest weather has been around the central and north coast, with up to 400 millimetres, or almost half a metre of rain, falling in a week around Ingham, Townsville, Mackay, Rockhampton and Bundaberg. The rain then moved inland to central and southern parts of Queensland, including mining areas around Emerald and down to Theodore, Chinchilla and Dolby. The Weather Bureau has issued flood warnings for 15 rivers and waterways across the state. Uh, well, it's quite an excessive amount of rainfall. I'm sure there's some places in the country that don't even receive that in one year. Weather forecaster Dave Grant says the heavy rainfall is driven by the strongest La Nina weather pattern to affect Australia in more than 30 years. There is um, cycles between the El Nino and the La Nina patterns. Um, I guess most people last talk about the, the last big La Nina through uh, 1970s and also there's been larger ones back through the early uh, 1900s and also the late 1800s. The La Nina brings warmer ocean temperatures which lead to greater evaporation, cloud formation and rainfall. The rainfall stranded motorists heading home or heading away for Christmas. And it has residents in the southern inland town of Chinchilla bracing for the town's worst floods in half a century. The Darling Downs is underwater for the second time in a week. 31 local government areas are eligible for disaster relief, with damage to roads and bridges alone estimated at more than $600 million. The effect on crops and livestock, tourism and mining is also expected to run into hundreds of millions of dollars. There have been thousands of power outages and the weather is also stretching emergency services to their limits. If travel is not required, particularly in some of these uh, more heavily flooded areas, need to reassess uh, and particularly be prepared to be stranded. We've seen uh, many people or hundreds of people throughout Queensland over the last week or so stranded. Uh, people need to be prepared for that and uh, stay tuned to their radio and television bulletins. When you know, the waters are rising, we've been able to get to communities, we've been able to get people out of harm's way. Um, unfortunately, we've had people who have taken uh, significant risks, particularly when driving. Police have begun charging people who recklessly drive into floodwaters. And the acting Premier, Paul Lucas, has appealed to people not to take risks. In the last two days, our Swiftwater Rescue Team has rescued 20 people. They're 20 people who could have lost their lives as a result of uh, activity uh, that could end and make your Christmas period an absolute and total tragedy. In the last week, they've rescued 50. We've had five water and flood-related deaths in the last month. Uh, so nothing, nothing should be taken for granted. Brisbane hasn't escaped the wet, with dams supplying the region filling beyond capacity. 
Authorities are now opening the floodgates to release water. It's less than three years since the drought reduced Brisbane's main dam to 17% capacity and the Queensland Government has invested billions of dollars in now unused water infrastructure. Meanwhile, like many other farmers watching the rain come down across Queensland, there's little Linton Brimblecombe and his family can do but wait and hope. I, I think we've got to keep faith. If you're a, a Christian person, you keep your faith that that there is hope in the future and, and I think that's a very important thing.